Well, it's uh, the Monday morning after the Saturday before, and I'm here with Dennis after his, uh, after his ride on Saturday from, from Bemerton. So how did it go, Dennis? Uh, it went uh, reasonably well, as well as can be expected. Uh, I didn't get any rain on the way up there. It only rained for 10, 15 minutes just as I arrived uh, at Bemerton, round about half past one. Uh, and then um, I, I had forgotten and miscalculated the clocks had changed. So that meant, of course, it was darker an hour early. And uh, many people, uh, my wife especially, had, and, and those at the club had said, look, it's sensible, Dennis, for you to set off in the light, try and get back as quick. It, you know, we'd rather have you back uh, than <laughs> just the funds in, in the club. So I left just at half time and the heavens opened. It was, it was, it was horrible. It wasn't a nice, uh, it wasn't a nice journey back. But um, I was sort of looking, thinking all the way through there, there's another mile done, there's another £20. There's another mile done, there's another £20. So the generosity of the Wimborne people, uh, Wimborne Town Football Club, immense, immense. So how much have you, have you raised now? Well, at the moment I've left the, uh, the, the, the charity page open. At the moment uh, we're on £1,100. Wow, and, and your target was 500 And the target was 500 Oh, fantastic, Dennis. So doubled that value and it's still coming in. I've even come to the club this morning and I've people shaking my hand and saying, well done, Dennis, uh, let me give you some cash now. So I've, I've collected more cash this morning. Um, and uh, I, so I'll leave the page open another week, 10 days or so. Uh, let's get as much in as we can uh, for these two charities. So, so how do people donate? Well, they can either go to, uh, if you go to www.justgiving.com and then you put in the search page for Dennis, that's D-E-N-I-S, one N in Dennis, and my time, and it will come up with my page. So that gives you the uh, capability of donating online uh, so I don't see any of those funds physically they just get paid straight to the charities uh, concerned uh, what my time have kindly agreed is all of the money that gets to them they will write a check out 50 for 50% that goes straight to the the Parkinson's fund so you can donate that way uh, alternatively you can also uh, catch me any time uh, at the uh, at the ground I'm here fairly regularly and you can donate to me and uh, all I do then is put it into my bank account and I've made sure I put a little note onto the actual charity page thanking each individual person that's given I keep a note of it as I uh, as I carry my notebook around with me oh so that's brilliant I was on the supporters club minibus and we came back on Saturday and the conditions were absolutely horrendous Dennis how long did it take you to dry out afterwards oh I, dry out after well I, don't, I think I was still struggling to uh, to, to dry out. my wife uh, met me at the football club here and she'd got a blanket and and <laughs> hot coffee and everything else done for me. But so it was, what, what time did you get back? I got back here about half past six. Well. Half past six. So it took me three hours. It took me about three hours uh, going there, three hours five, and it took me about three hours 15 coming back. Uh, obviously, it was a bit darker coming back in. Everything else. Some of the lanes are a bit uh, uh, treacherous. Um, oh, goodness me, they, they must have been, because it is so dark out there, and well, there was it, so it, much water. It, it was, yeah. There was, I mean, it, coming down from Stanbridge um, was a, a case of, it reminded me of being a child. Coming down to the hill to Stanbridge, where the road was flooded, uh, and it was about two foot deep, of cycling down as fast as I could to that, and then putting my feet on the crossbar. I was, I, I was like a little child again. It was great fun. Uh, but I soon realised after 10 yards, I was slowing down so much, I had to put my feet in the water and keep pedalling. I'd got my water boots on and everything else. So there's lots of, lot, it was great fun doing it. At Bower Chalk, I, I came round a Land Rover in the middle of the road with its lights blaring, and, and I thought, oh, cycle to one side of him the opposite side of the road uh, only to find that the reason he was in the middle of the road with his lights on was because he was taking 150 sheep to the next field so there i was surrounded with sheep leaping up and down and, and, and the poor sheep dog at the back didn't know what to do because there were sheep running behind him and they were what are you doing to me <laughs> great fun it was I, I really enjoyed it and thank you for again for the club and everybody for supporting me it's been tremendous yeah well well done dennis good man thanks ever so much for chatting to us all right thank you very much